Greetings everybody, Maximus here. Well, for the second time in less than a week, I've got some actual breaking news regarding the Airbus A350. Quite shocking, actually. And I mean that literally. Reuters is reporting that the European Union Aviation Safety Agency said in a proposed airworthiness directive that expanded copper foil designed to safely disperse lightning strikes may not have been installed properly on the wing covers of at least 13 Airbus A350 jets. EASA says that if a cocktail of factors comes together, including an adjacent fastener also being incorrectly installed, then a heavy lightning strike in the same zone could lead to fuel vapor igniting and the consequent loss of the aircraft. Let me repeat that for you. Yasa is warning in writing that though remote, apparently there is a great enough risk that if certain A350 jets take a lightning strike in the wing, the plane could explode and be lost. Hmm, Airbus couldn't be reached for comment, but Boeing could. And they allegedly said, See, we don't look so bad now, do we, huh? Well, I did say allegedly. But seriously, European regulators have issued a preliminary warning that sections of lightning protection installed on over a dozen Airbus A350s may have been improperly fitted, possibly leading to a loss of the aircraft. It's kind of a big deal, right? That's what I thought. This particular safety warning marks the first time this Airbus manufacturing flaw has been seen by regulators. This warning comes, of course, on the heels of last week's revelation by more than half a dozen airlines of paint irregularities that left the A350's lightning protection foil exposed and possibly damaged. I mentioned the possibility of this scenario happening in a Boeing 787 video last week that carbon composite aircraft are still new in commercial aviation, and it wasn't just Boeing that was going to have to deal with growing pains of integrating new carbon composite designs into what has been an all-aluminum industry for over 100 years now. But also like with the Dreamliner, Airbus says these newly discovered flaws pose no danger to safety of flight. I don't know, maybe before I said everything was safe, if I were Airbus, I'd probably give EASA a call. You know, given the whole exploding airplane memo. Ah, oh, crap. I said exploding an airplane in the same sentence. Okay, YouTube, if you're listening, nobody got hurt. They're trying to save people, so this is a good thing. So, you know, please don't demonetize me. The proposed directive calls for gradual inspections and where necessary repairs, but does not call for any of the 13 planes to be grounded. An Airbus spokesperson said the draft directive is a normal part of the continued airworthiness process. The calls for checks comes as Airbus is locked in a dispute with its biggest A350 buyer, Qatar Airways, over what Airbus has called a surface paint issue, but what Qatar describes as problems under the paint affecting the lightning protection coil and the composite shell. Regarding this earlier problem, you might have seen I put a video out on that last week. EASA has said it has found no evidence of any airworthiness problem, but Qatar Airways says this has yet to be proven and it grounded 20 of its 53 A350s as skin damage appears, saying it's operating on orders from its regulator. But now this week, Delta Airlines announced that they have found problems with paint and damaged fuselage skin on at least one aircraft. Delta declined to comment on specific jets, but said for the first time that it had seen problems on a limited scale. A spokesperson said, adding that they were in discussions with Airbus on the issue. However, regarding this latest, more severe issue, it wasn't immediately clear whether the 13 different jets covered by EASA's draft directive were similar to those problems reported by Qatar and Finnair, as well as other airlines. The 13 A350s were delivered between 2016 and 2020 and represent just about 3% of the fleet but are operated by 10 airlines or 28% of the number of carriers currently flying the A350. So there you have it. Two Airbus stories in less than a week. Well, that's all I have for now. What do you think? Does this news worry you or is it just the ASA being extra cautious? Let me know down below. 
And as always, on your way out before you go, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell. And remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time in the air. Yeah, this is Maximus.